For this project, we are going to set our page in front of us vertical, which means up and down. I am using a coffee filter and notice the coffee filter is a little bit bigger than my page. I'm going to wrinkle that coffee filter up and when I open it up again, it's going to shrink it down just a little bit because I have the wrinkles in it. Now it fits on there perfectly. I'll go ahead and add a little bit of water on my paper. When I add the water on, that's going to help kind of hold down my coffee filter so it doesn't move around. Adding a little bit of extra water on top of my coffee filter will help it stay in place as well. I'm actually using quite a bit of water. Not so much that I start creating puddles, but I do want to make sure that the coffee filter is nice and wet. I'm going to use semi-moist temper cakes for this project. Now, I'm thinking about a big, nice sunflower, so I'm going to start with some yellow. And I'm adding some stripes right on top of the coffee filter. Every once in a while, I need to get some more water and go back into my cake. Then, when I have created a circle all the way around my coffee filter, I'm going to switch to a different color. In this ca case, I'm going to use blue. I'll fill in the center of my flower with blue. Before I finish the project, I'm going to take a color and place it in the background. So that means that I'm going to add one single color all the way around my coffee filter. After the paper and the coffee filter are completely dry, I'm going to remove the coffee filter and we're going to use oil pastel to create my flower. I started by making a nice circle right on top of that blue center. Now I'm looking very closely at a sunflower image. I noticed that you can see all the little seeds inside this center. So that's what I'm doing right now is creating many different seeds for the center. Now I'm going to add the petals on the outside of my flower. You can see that I'm using warm colors. Warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. I'm going ahead and making several petals all the way around that center circle. I do it by curving out and back in and then out and back in. Some of my petals I'm going to color in with my oil pastel. I'm also choosing to leave some of the petals so that you can see the paint behind. I'll do this until I complete the whole circle of the flower. Now that that's finished, I'm going to add the final details, which is the stem. A stem is simply going to be two lines that go from the flower down to the bottom of my page. If there's room, I can also include a leaf or two. Again, I'll draw that kind of the same way as I did the petals. I can add some details inside or color it in. Whatever you want to do as far as the leaf goes underneath the flower. And there we have it, a finished sunflower.